uh, event is under the uh, project of improving food security in the South Caucasus in Georgia and Armenia. And at the heart of this project really is to influence the government and to mobilize civil society to engage on the policy change. And so for us, the, uh, the heart of this project really is the alliance, the networks. And we expect uh, solidarity support. We expect bringing their expertise to our communities and uh, doing the thing together. The workshop was very useful, very interesting, very important and timely. And to think more about what is our role as a member of the Alliance. I hope that I will, in a short period of time, I will apply this uh, approach and come up with a, a good analysis. And the workshop was like a lemon. <laughs> we took out of the, all the juice out of the lemon. I think the participants were engaged, but at the same time they were placid, like the snow. It was a perfect environment, that everyone was there, but uh, there was kind of gravitas in the atmosphere. They were there in a calm way, but engaged somehow. So that's what I enjoyed. I'm really happy with this uh, workshop. It was a great opportunity to meet uh, different kinds of networks, and I'm in a global position. You know, I'm supporting uh, different people, so it's really interesting to get a feel of what the people actually need. Experience of other networks, such as Agricultural Alliance, working in other countries, uh, which uh, brought a lot of um, other approaches and specifics. And what were the main tools to assess the efficiency and the sustainability of the Alliance and what are the existing mechanisms that we could adopt and use for our local Alliance to make it better, sustainable and more efficient. participate in the network assessment workshop and I feel that I learn a lot. It is all about like a learning by doing. The diversity of the experiences and in the end what I think all of us have realized is that working with the networks it's very contextual but there's some characteristics which remain similar. The workshop was very interesting for me. It was a great opportunity to uh, share knowledge, information. That was my opportunity to have this meeting and I'm very much delighted to speak with colleagues with Oxfam, from Oxford, from Vietnam and other stakeholders as well. It seems like a great group of people. The people here have lots of experience which we're only starting to touch the surface of, right? I know there are a lot of people here that have been in involved in, in civil society and agriculture movements for a long time. I learned from uh, Oxfam in this region with different coalition and networks here. Indeed, very much interested in how we can uh, combine the qualitative data with what the SNA allows us to do. And the process um, has been good and the, the, the different steps um, of the, the workshop helped the participants to go from the big picture, what's out there, what networks, what methodologies, to really zooming on their own issues and, um, and the very tangible application of um, of uh, the principles and the tool eventually. Personally, um, satisfied. Um, every day was quite um, interesting with the topics that we discussed and what is the most interesting takeaway, we are already a new network. So tell us what you plan to do starting next week with this work plan, okay? And then tell us very specifically about the support you think you need or that you're going to get uh, within your organization? Among other things, uh, the major thing we need to really look at critically is the need to invest in uh, social capital of the identified network members. And this work card. Uh, so basically the plan is to adapt it to, so that it goes in line with the protection network project which we are working on. We are exploring the possibility of uh, doing SNA in combination with the qualitative uh, survey to assess um, our strengths with grassroots connections. The education materials that came through this workshop is going to be of great uh, help, uh, as well as the acquaintances that have, I have made uh, in the, during this workshop. 
think it's a good chance to have more qualitative data and later on strategically we think which will be the revised key area, strategic area, uh, which aligns with follow-up. We're building networks, is building social capital and building trust. And we're looking for different ways to do that. And I'm really impressed to see how everyone is taking aspects of what's been presented here and seeing how it can fit to their needs. A great uh, willingness and appetite to share with others, so really operate and function in the spirit of a network, not just keep your knowledge to yourself, but a lot of you mentioned you wanted to go back home and share uh, and work with others uh, to see how you can implement these tools. Two things that I really liked about the support that, that you were mentioning, uh, which I found really important, um, it's looking at your network, what capacities are already there, and you said it um, directly, like tapping into that social capital and those resources that are already there. One of the things I would really recommend is get some RIs on board, because for us to work with it, we didn't have the answer, what is it going to give us, or we didn't have all of them. So um, I like how you're looking at this, like, okay, let's present it to the team, let's see if uh, the male person, let's get them on board, let's do a bit of a training, let's play with this. So it really is going to be a process. Um, and so the first step really is for you to go back to your team to get the feedback, to look for allies, to look for the technical, technical support, and to go step by step on how you can take this forward. <laughs> Check, 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 check